Okay, so to go into deadlifting with kettlebells and a bar, I like to start first or have an alternative for people who have low problems, meaning when they deadlift, they have problems at the bottom of the deadlift with that bottom ball. So I like using the band. So the band that you are using for your hinging part for that extension resistance to get the glutes going for you know hip extension resistance that way not actual load you use the same band you can go a little bit lighter these are pretty tough bands so if it is too hard go lighter um, so what you do is instead of initially using the weight you can use a resistance band and again like i said before with the resistance band it's lower or easier at the bottom of the movement so if i go down and grab this part here when I stand up, there is load going down through my body and actual load, but not much. Okay, so it's a lot lighter than taking a weight. At this point here, the beauty about this is even if the weight is the same at the top as holding a kettlebell, when I go into my deadlift, it gets easier. Okay, so as I'm going down, and then it's almost at that point, see it's slackened, so there's nothing there. I can really work on my back positioning, so my positioning here, making sure my spine is a neutral, that I'm nice and neutral here, I'm not in extension, and I'm not in flexion, so I'm, yeah, that's a very important thing to make sure you're in a neutral spine when you're on that deadlift, and then get that right, keep my core, get that nice tight core, and I can still talk, and then extend in that hip hinge to the deadlift, so it's hard at the top again. Now, Again, as I go down, I can control the movement nice and slow, it gets easier. I can work on my core, I can make sure it's nice where I'm vulnerable, where that disc sort of is vulnerable. I can work on making sure I don't have the load there. Now, as I get better, what you can do is you go, okay, well that's smack at the bottom. You can go tighten it up a bit, okay? So I can go a bit harder there, so there is weight at the bottom. But of course, when you do that, it's gonna be harder at the top. All right, so it's a progressive increase in resistance load, and then it decreases as I drop down, and then increases as I come up. So as the muscle tissue is shortening, as my glute muscle tissue is shortening through range, it is hypothetically getting stronger through range because there's more muscle contraction, and therefore, the load is more, okay? So it's all relative to the load. Now, again, this is time under tension for building strength, so if you can work on slow repetitions, you get more time under tension, you'll get better results with your strength gains, okay? So from that, you then move into your kettlebells to add load. Let's start with one kettlebell, or two light ones. This is 10 kilos, okay? So this is not too hard. Of course you can drop down now when obviously you've got one you hold the middle now the reason i've got a kettlebell to start with is one it stops me going too heavy because an olympic bar is 20 kilos so it's double so if i want to start lower than that use a kettlebell okay easy to hold okay and you can hold two if you want to right also a kettlebell if i go into a romanian deadlift like that i can keep my weight centered okay so i'm just adding body weight adding load to my spine, my back, my glutes, my hamstrings, but I'm not leaning too far forward and keeping things centered. It works the same as having kettlebell front squats, okay? It's a lot easier to control your core when the weight is down between your ankles, like that, okay? And it's a much more sensible way of doing deadlift. If you, people like Gray Cook always teach that, is keep that weight down between your ankles, which is fantastic. Now, of course, when you get stronger, you work on two. Now, remember with the deadlift, keep those knees out, right? Same with hip hinge, feet wide, knees wide, feet straight ahead. Don't fall into the trap of doing this, okay? So feet this way, knees wide, kettlebells in here, glutes on, core on, little breath out, and then down, bum goes back just like you've learned. Get that stretch on the hammies, all right? Make sure your back is not rounding, okay? My back has to stay neutral the whole time. I can't afford it to go into flexion. I can't afford it to go into hyperextension. And you really, when you get it right, you'll really feel that work your hamstrings. Hey, because it's a hamstring strengthening exercise, but it's got the benefits of glutes and core and lifting strength, okay, and spinal strength. So that's a great one. Once you've done that, 
you are then then going into a conventional hamstring bar deadlift. So this one, classic Olympic bar. All right. Now, obviously, when it's heavy, put it on a rack. Okay. But this one, of course, people start with this. I'm ending with this. All right. Because this is now 20 kilos on my spine. All right. Even though it's down here, it's still transferred. It's still load. It's not axial load like this as much but it is still low and it's definitely a big load when I go down so when I'm in this position and coming up okay it feels a little bit easier because I'm nice and balanced like a trapeze artist okay but the load is more and that's what people get fooled at the load is double what I just did okay with one it's double and if you start putting on a 20 kilo plate either side it's triple you know there's a lot of load through the spine so you have to make sure that your hip hinge movement is correct, your glutes are working, your core is working, so you protect that spine. Okay, the whole idea is yes, you can increase load, but make sure, please make sure, that your spine is protected by doing the correct movement and you practice that over a number of times to build up the spinal muscle strength and your abdominal activation so every time you lift, things are working, things are activated, and so you progressively put that load on the bar. To progressively increase not just your hamstring bulk and your glute bulk and strength you're progressively increasing spinal strength slowly so you can improve your whole strength mechanics okay to do that make sure you start from the hip hinge get that sorted right through the deadlift can't go wrong